This episode is going to be a little different, and it's about a very special part of the UK, the Isles of Scilly. When I first visited the Isles of Scilly back in 2017 and saw the dark skies, I thought what a wonderful place the islands would be for astronomy. Little did I know, at about the, roughly the same time, other people were also having similar ideas. The initial idea for the Cosmos Observatory, which stands for Community Observatory St Martins on Scilly, started in 2015 and was born on the island of St Martins, one of the islands that make up the Isles of Scilly. It is a small island about two and a half miles long. Mark Holmes, who had set up a community observatory in Cheshire, England, was staying on St Martins and drinking some wine with friends one evening, and mentioned how extremely dark the night sky is in the Isles of Scilly, and that it's unbelievable that there is not an observatory. After this comment, this group of friends decided to start the process of making the observatory a reality. So, to get anything done on St Martins, which has a full-time population of about 130 people, requires a committee. About seven people joined the committee, meaning quite a high percentage of the population was actually involved in setting up the observatory. When there was found to be sufficient level of interest, a whole series of funding exercises on the islands raised about £25,000. The team behind Cosmos then applied for a substantial grant of about £65,000 from the European Agricultural Fund for rural development. One of the reasons for this funding was that the astronomy season in the UK is from September to April, so the observatory had the potential to bring in tourists outside of the normal tourist season. It was decided to build the observatory on the field behind the community hall. The first task was to lay a concrete base to stop any vibrations being passed to the telescope. However, because the observatory is on a remote island, the transportation costs for the concrete was more than the cost of the concrete itself. Then, in the winter, the domes arrived, and by the end of 2018, the observatory was ready. During the first year before the pandemic hit in 2019, 800 visitors visited the observatory, which indicated that the observatory had a great future ahead of it. But why put an observatory on St Martins? There are some great reasons to have an observatory on St Martins apart from the dark skies. One of them is that being on an island, there is a clear horizon all the way around. This is useful because, as every astronomer knows, there is often astronomical targets low on the horizon. The other is that the stars do not twinkle, or when they do twinkle, they twinkle a lot less on the Isles of Scilly. This is because, being in the middle of the sea, there is not the landmass cooling down at night and releasing hot air into the sky, which causes the air to shimmer. Because of this, you get a much better view of the night sky. The Isles of Scilly actually have the darkest skies in England. Unfortunately, this is not the dark sky reserve, even though the island council is forward thinking and has restricted what lights can be used on the island. This is because the island council is so small, they have not managed to handle the bureaucracy to get the dark sky reserve status confirmed yet. The observatory consists of two domes and three main telescopes, an Altair Wave Series 130mm F7ED triplet APO refractor telescope, with a Coronado Solomax 3 70BF 15 hydrogen alpha solar telescope piggyback mounted on top in the first dome. The solar telescope is available for visitors to look through during the day. And in the other dome, there is a large 14 inch Schmidt Gascoigne telescope. As this is a community observatory, the amateur astronomers are very much learning their equipment as they go along. The observatory itself is well worth the visit. I found that it was not well marked on the maps online, but can be found at the back of the community centre in Middletown on St Martins. Another good idea for any potential visitor is that the transport links from the other islands, especially the main island, St Mary's, which most people stay on, is very limited after dark. In fact, if you intend to visit the observatory at night, it is advisable to stay on St Martins itself. I stayed on the island of St Mary's and had to get a speedboat back at 9.30pm, which was the latest they would do. This involved walking through dark lanes to get to the lower quay to leave the island and a fast journey back. Well, that's all for another episode. I hope you liked it. And if you did, please do leave a like. It really helps out the channel. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below and I'll do my best to answer them. And if you'd like to see more astronomy videos, then please do subscribe. Goodbye and clear skies.